Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a note taking and study tips video. The lighting is horrendous because it's like 8.30 at night um, and I'm kind of forcing some lighting for my computer light a little bit, uh, but it's not working very well. So I apologize, let's just pretend it looks awesome. But anyway, I'm just going to show you how I take notes and that kind of thing. And some study tips as well. So let's get started. So my first tip is to highlight important things. For example, vocab or maybe titles of things. And then my next tip is to use fun and bright colors while you are taking your notes. So, for example, you could do, like, all your vocabulary in green gel pen and all your titles in, like, pink gel pen or whatever. Um, just make your notes a little bit more fun and you can also color code your classes by gel pen, like, in your planner or something. My next tip is to create study guides when your lesson is over. Um, add to your study guides whatever things you don't like understand, and you can just put them on a flashcard um, and then study them before a test or something. And those are things that you know you're going to have to work on because you didn't understand them at first. So, my next tip is to keep notes short and to the point. Um, just use, like, symbols and things if you have to abbreviate words, because that makes things go along a lot quicker. And just make sure that you understand what you are writing. So, my next tip is to only write things that you don't know, um, unless they are, like, really important and they're going to be on a test, and that way you can remember that they're going to be on the test. But if you already know something, it's kind of pointless writing it down, because your notes are for things that you are learning, basically. And my next thing is to star, or my next tip is to star what will be on the test. You can, like, highlight it, underline it, star it, whatever, so that way you know what you have to study. And... I think my final note-taking tip is to draw diagrams for classes like biology or science in general, um, or even like language arts too, if you really have, like have to, or social studies, whatever. Um, but diagrams are really important and they can help you a lot during tests, especially in things like science. So, my next tip is for studying. I've moved on to my studying tips now. And this tip is to make flashcards while studying. Um, so, these things are very helpful with, like, vocabulary or, like, math things that you have to memorize, um, like formulas and stuff. Um, and also, if you're in a foreign language, you can put, like, the English word on one side and then, like, the French or Spanish word on the other side. That's what we did a lot in French. My next tip is to actually review, like, your index cards and your flash cards and things. These are really important. You made them for a reason, and they will most likely help you, um, especially study guides, I think. Those are going to be super helpful for you if you So, use them. my last couple bit of tips that can't really be funly recorded like that easily. Um, so, I would recommend keeping everything organized so having all your stuff with you before you sit down and study also find a good quiet nice place to study this could be your room or maybe your local starbucks or your school's library or a local library just wherever it is find your quiet place and study there also allow yourself breaks that's really important because otherwise after like a half hour you're like i don't want to do this anymore and you just quit um also, keep your food with you at your little study spot, otherwise you'll find yourself walking around to go get food and you can get distracted by something else. So it's important that everything, all your materials are with you while you're studying. And, oh yeah, last one. Study a little bit per night, don't leave it all until the night before the test, review flashcards pretty much every night, just take like 20 minutes and review your stuff. Um, and that is everything I can think of, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun, kind of cute little video, and goodbye. <laughs>